Moving on to other news, family, friends and customers are grieving tonight following the death of a beloved street vendor affectionately known as Red the Watermelon Man. Good evening, I'm Joe Burns. And I'm Joy Redmond. 76-year-old John Materna died Monday after being shot two weeks ago in an attempted robbery. Action News 5's Stephanie Douglas joins us live from Berkeley, where a memorial is growing tonight. Yeah, good evening, guys. I want to show you that all day today, community members have been stopping by here to drop off flowers, balloons, and leave sweet messages on Homer and Wayne for the friendly face that sold them watermelons for the past three decades. Seven days a week, I see him, like, at least once and he speaks to everybody. For three decades on Homer and Wayne, this was the view of 76-year-old John Materna, eventually known as Red the Watermelon Man. We came here 10 times to buy water, watermelon, so he was a kind man. Uh, he was a great guy, down to earth. Uh, he was making an honest living every time I used to come home or going or leaving home. Um, the guy standing right here on the corner. Without fail, Materna would set up shop every morning, greeting people with a friendly smile and selling his fruit to customers. He would have continued to do what he enjoyed, but his life was cut short by gun violence on May 15th. Police say the two suspects driving this infinity shot Materna while trying to rob him. Yeah. Just so sad that he had to lose his life to some senseless kid over nothing. The community says Materna's death is a huge loss. Now all that remains on the corner of Homer and Wayne is a growing memorial where friends and loved ones in the Burr community are remembering the street vendor who planted a seed in their hearts. Um, I'm praying for his wife, his kids, if they if he have any, you know, uh, just I'm just I'm just wishing it was it all was a joke. So far, Memphis police says that they have no suspects in custody, and this is an ongoing investigation. Reporting live in Memphis, Stephanie Douglas, Action News 5.